is Debbie Rowe Jackson, as the public has come to know her, a demure Debbie going to work at a doctor's office in her starched, crisp white uniform. They say they used to be biker buddies with the Harley-riding Debbie. They say once away from work, it was off with the whites and into the leather. But even on the open road, Rebecca and Mario say Debbie was never very far away from her most famous patient, Michael Jackson. She always used to carry a pouch with her and uh, a beeper. She was always proud to say that's Michael calling her, that she will have to stop the ride and just go and take care of Michael. Mario Picus, a Los Angeles-based artist, says as he and his wife got to know Debbie, they learned more about her 15-year relationship with Jackson. And once they visited her apartment, they realized the depth of Debbie's devotion. When I walked in there, it was like a shrine. Candles, pictures of Michael by the dozen, uh, posters of Michael by the dozen. It was like everything there was Michael, 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 and nobody else in the world existed. And Rebecca says as tough as Debbie appeared on the outside, she's basically a shy, kind of lonesome person whose first attempt at marriage many years ago ended in divorce. One of the failures for her first marriage that she always said was that she wanted to have children and her ex-husband didn't want to have children. Well, now Debbie has a new husband and a new baby on the way. Her biker pals hope this marriage will work for Debbie and that Michael realizes what he's got. She represents some type of stability for him, some type of constant, someone that, that um, wishes he's in the best health, wishes the best for him, defends him against any accusations, just totally blindly loves him. I hope in my heart that Michael loves Debbie.